Hey guys, back. Still playing some Sky and Scale. Need to draw a new hand. That one only's got one land. Need to draw a new hand. That one only's got one land. And this one's okay. Hopefully, I will draw a second island so I can play my Sower of Temptation. This thing is sweet. Awesome card. War Scale Coatl, obviously a great card. It just grows immensely. I was talking about it with my friends earlier, and probably if he only costs like green blue, or if it was obviously if it was one in a green, then this card would like very easily be played either with or over Tarmogoyf, which is just one of the most expensive and one of the best cards in uh, modern. That was just sweet drawing that. I mean, getting the island, which the island that I need, and ramping. I mean, I'm not gonna play it. I'm not going to play uh, Sower here, but uh, yeah, I think I'll attack. Alright, Pongify. I want to leave open blue, but yeah, I'll just attack. F I mean, it doesn't really matter when I attack. Um, eh, no, I'm not going to attack, because I don't really want to trade one for two here. Or one damage for two. Actually, what I could have done is attacked, and then when he um, attacks Pongify and get a 3-3 three, three block gain value out of that if he wants to waste his turn giving death touch then I'm okay with that too but yeah terminate um yeah I'll pong a fine response to get a 3-3 three, three. um not exactly how I want it to go oh actually no keeping the the, the coiling oracle is good because if I get my liege out then I'll be in good shape so I'm obviously going to save this sower because he has like a lot of gigantic creatures. He's got demigods and grave titans, so it could... Uh, oh, that was a sweet draw. So it could be really beneficial for me later on. But yeah, I mean, I just play a turn 4 liege and beat in for 7. Thank you. Man, that coiling oracle was a sick draw, and I, all, and I got amazing things off of it. That was just good turn. Like, this is basically ideal. And hopefully he'll just like attack in next turn and then expect to have Death Touch back as blocker. And I'm gonna be like, nah, so of temptation. Bam. Gotcha. And I get to untap my dudes. That's sweet. And that's I think exactly what's gonna happen. Um I might lose four life here. But that's okay. Is it a spell? Or ability. Okay. All right, all right, I know, I take four, but I'm still at 16, so that should be okay. And I'm about to hit him for 11, so <laughs> that's pretty good. Especially since, I mean, he might he might just have to chump block one of them, but yeah, I can kill him off with the sower next turn. Unless he kills it. Actually, that would be really bad if he killed it. Yeah, he's just going to chump block here, take seven, go down to six. And if he has a removal spell for my sower, then I'm not in great shape. Hellhole rats. What does this do? I have to discard my forest. Oh man. Oh shucks. All right, and a blood chief ascension, and he's just dead. So that turned out better than expected. I was expecting to like lose this turn or something like that, but yeah, let's get in there. Boom, boom, boom. That was just way better of a game, and it just makes me feel way happier and. Like, the deck is a lot better than it actually is. I'm not really sure how good it is, but that makes it seem way better. <laughs> um, I don't know. I love that uh, that duels thing. It just said green has the biggest creatures. So let's see if he wants to do another rematch. Uh, or another rematch. A rematch, he probably will, because uh, he probably feels cheated by that game. Um, yeah, this hand's good. Not great. Acidic Slime is... Oh, okay, I don't know what matchup it is, so... I can't say that Acidic Slime is bad in the matchup now, which is good. That I can't say that it's bad. Perfectly. Uh, hopefully I will again ramp with my Coiling Oracle. That's what I want to do every single time I play this card. Um, the thing... Oh my god, Coiling Oracle, you are so good at magic. Like, he, I can just block his 3-1 next turn. Like, he's, I'm not going to block it because he can't even attack with it. And now I have um, two of these Death Touchers. Flashers, ah, oh, come on. This is the worst thing to draw now. I wanted to play that on turn two, not later. But, I mean, he if he has an Anthem here, it's not great, but it's not terrible. It means I'm taking four, but he's not developing his board, and I can flash in this Coatl next turn and block, so that's not so bad. Um, 
If he attacks, then I know he's got a pump spell of sorts, but I'm very willing to trade the coil and we'll go for a pump spell, and it looks like he doesn't have anything. So um, I don't need to leave Kawadal open, so I think I'm just going to get my unblockable dude out. That way I can start winning the game in addition to being, like, really um, able to... Like, my hand is very good at blocking, but this is the only thing that's attacking. And that's basically what I built the deck around, is it's got, like, six of these 2-2 two -two unblockables, like, two of these, and then four flyers. What is this thing? Oh, God, I need to kill that with a Pongify. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, sweet. I can play the Selkie and still Pongify that dude. Um, there's no reason to do it now. I can just wait. That's pretty awkward, drawing lower scale Coatl off of that. <laughs> but, because if I had just played it the other way around, then it would have been way better. But yeah, I mean, luckily I have Pongify for this situation. It's not great, because, um, pacifism, target... That dude. Okay, well now I really want to pongify my own dude, but I need to get rid of that Dawn Elemental. Hopefully he'll attack with both. Should be like, yeah, I'll get in some extra damage. No, okay. Um, so I'm going to have the Death Touch here open. I could actually Acidic Slime the Pacifism, that's sweet. I was hoping he would play like an Anthem so I could Acidic Slime that, but um, I have three Death Touch creatures in hand right now. That's so good. Alright, there's a Coiling Oracle. Um, I'm not ballsy enough to just play my Coiling Oracle and hope that I hit, all, like, an island, but, um, yeah, alright. So we'll just flash in a Flying Death Toucher, and that'll be all. I don't really want to trade both these dudes for his dude. Oh god, he's got another Dawn Elemental. That's not good. <laughs> alright. So... I mean, I guess I'm just going to have to take three for the rest of the game. But, I mean, I guess I can maybe beat that. Unless I draw a bigger flyer. Alright, so we got the lands. Um, I guess we need to start drawing some cards. So I'll play this thing. Maybe it was right to just Acidic Slime blow up the Pacifism, but I think that drawing cards for now is really where I need to be. Especially if I can get this thing out, then I can... Okay, that doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters, but it doesn't really matter. Doomed Traveler. That's not good. <laughs> this is going to be a good game. <laughs> um, maybe... I, I don't know which pacifism to blow up. Probably not this one, because like, attacking with this thing isn't so good anyway. Alright, we got an Assault Zeppelin. That's sweet. So... I'm going to have 6 mana, um, so I don't want to Acidic Slime here, I think I want to play 2 2 drops, or yeah, I'll play a 4 drop and a 3 drop, I mean. So first I'm going to play this to give myself more options in case I want to do something else, and then I'll probably play Assault Zeppelin. I'm just trying to get as many cards, as oh, now I have 5 mana, so now I can just Acidic Slime. And I'll blow up the Pacifism on this thing, uh, boom. Now, maybe blowing up one of his lands would be better so, to keep him off stuff, but I, I really need uh, need to get in for some damage to race his stupid thing. But, I mean, I guess with, with the Assault Zeppelid, I will probably be able to race decently, because if he's attacking... Oh, God, not Archon of Justice. Damn it. So I have to lose something when I kill it, when I ambush it with my Coatl. Okay, so he's just attacking with everything. That seems weird. Um, okay, <laughs> trade my, my oracles, not a problem, and now I can actually attack, oh sweet, that is a sick draw, um, alright, let's just play it, yeah, I, I really needed this right here, so I'm going to, I guess, just attack with this thing, Damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to take 7 next turn. That's bad. Uh, let's attack with everything. He's probably... Because anything will trade for the Archon, and I don't want to take 7 next turn. Um, yeah, I, I figured it would be like a snap block there, and then just exile this. But he still takes 7. Um, and I drew another Acidic Slime, so if he taps out, then I can kill him next turn. 
Whew, this is getting... Nope, he is just gonna... I meant... I didn't mean if he taps out. I meant if he doesn't play anything. So this is getting pretty dicey here. Uh, I'm going down to nine. I can only hit him for two. But... And he can hit me again for five. All right, let's draw a couple of cards. All right, so I've got seven mana. It's probably just gonna be Acidic Slime <clears throat> plus that dude. So... Do I want to attack here? Yes. With my 5-5. Five five. I do. Um, I'm going to attack with everything here, actually. Right, so... <clears throat> you can trade the guy standard Monk for the overbeing of Myth. <clears throat> Sorry. Something in my throat. And he probably will. Okay, he's just going to chump block. Oh, he's just going to trade... Oh, thank you. I, I accept your gift. Um, and I'm going to play this. And now I can flash in a blocker. So I don't know how he's going to win this game. Journey to Nowhere. That's how he's going to win. Okay. Um, Alright. And an attended knight. Seems good. <laughs> so. Alright. He's going to attack. Alright. I'm just going to. Hold on. Am I going to. Flash in this Coatl and block? No, because if I... What can I draw? Um, is there anything I can do to get back? No, my thing's gone. Um, whew. going to trade this. I think I'm just going to take four, but I am going to flash this in anyway. Maybe I should have just played the Coatl. I don't know. But I can't block... I can't block this thing. Or I can't block it profitably. Maybe I should have just blocked it anyway. Alright. Groundswell! Oh, get there! I did not even realize that I had that in my deck. Yes! And he has got no cards in hand. Boom. Get there. That decision to not block with this was so clutch. It wasn't like a good decision, but it was really clutch, the fact that I did that. I think that there's a way that I could have won this game either way, but... Man, getting that overbeing of Myth out there and just digging like 15 cards deep into my library really helped even though he had better cards. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the, those videos and that was definitely a pretty interesting set of games. I certainly enjoyed playing them, especially since I won the ones at the end. But yeah, have a nice day. Bye.